Hey boys, welcome back to some more Roosters career mode, but a little different. We're actually taking a look at the uh, the transfers or the signings I've made for the Roosters. So the transfer window opened up a little while ago, and I've uh, you know signed a few guys. Uh, it was a you know it was a bit difficult because I'll say straight away the uh, all the players that were off contract were Ferguson, Tupo, Kenny Dow, so the big three backs. But obviously I was going to re-sign them. And then all the other guys were just, um, just, like, really low-rated guys, like, in their 40s and 50s. So, you know, all the guys that I, I didn't really want anymore, they weren't off contract. So, I didn't want to sign too many guys. Um, but we signed a few here. So, as you see, a few transfers have taken place. Um, we picked up Paulie Paulie, who I think is an awesome buy. Only 20 years old, 85 rated. A very good bench player. Probably for us. Uh, Penny Terrapo, another good forward. 23, 85. I like him in real life. He's a very good player. And Cody Nick Rima there. So uh, the game kept suggesting that I pick up a, uh, a hooker. They kept suggesting that I needed to buy a dummy half. And I didn't really want to buy like a 90 rated dummy half. But Cody Nick Arima, um was up there. And he's like a perfect, perfect buy. I mean, Probably what I'm going to do, though, is I'll probably switch Cody Nicarima to 5'8 and put uh, Jaden on the bench, just because Cody is better better rated in this game. Uh, we also got Lee Sinar Mao, who I really like in real life. His, his rating's okay, but I'm just a huge fan of Lee Sinar Mao. I wanted to pick him up. Another good uh, bench prop for us. And uh, then we got a couple of young guys. Samuel G from the under-20 Bronco, Broncos. I guess he's going to be up to first grade Broncos, but he's 80 rated for a 20 year old, that's really good, and uh, Heimel Hunt, uh, just a bit of depth in the in the backs, because, you know, in case of injuries and stuff, and Heimel Hunt, he, he might have a few games, he might slot in there somewhere, but the other, we tr I tried to sign Chris and, <laughs> Chris and, and Tim Simona, I originally tried to sign Tim Simona, because he's uh, one of my favourite players, and I wanted to get him, but he, he turned us down, he, and he's going to uh, the Rabbitohs, and uh, Krizen and Inu, I uh, tried to sign him even though he, he's pretty bad in this game. He's only 83. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I just sort of wanted to bring Krizen in back to the NRL. But he, uh, he turned us down as well. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're the transfers. Not, uh, not heaps, but like I said, there wasn't really that many guys off contract that I wanted to get rid of. So next year, we're going to have a pretty big squad, I think. Um, like a lot of depth. Um, and then hopefully next year... A few guys that uh, will be leaving will be off contract. So yeah, that's the that's the signings. Hopefully you guys um, like those. I mean, I, I didn't want to like totally overhaul the Roosters. That's why I re-signed Kenny Dow, Ferguson, and Tupo. Even though I'm not like the huge fan of those guys in real life, they're all good players and everything. But I'm not like a, you know, I'm not that big a fan. But you know, they're they're good players in the game. Well, they're actually really good players in the game, and you know, they're core Roosters players. So I wanted to keep them. Um, but yeah, the only the only other spot I thought I might um, purchase is a fullback. Uh, the only thing though was that there really wasn't that many fullbacks up for grabs. I think the only good one was like Billy Slater. There were obviously some good ones, but Billy Slater was like the standout. But I didn't really want to sign Slater, even though he's like the best fullback in the game. Um, I thought, you know what, we'll stick with Latrell Mitchell for the for the time being. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this this little video, and I'll see you next time.